one of the most depressing things about writing and reading about Churchill is that he is so completely inimitable and there's, there's, there's no other politician like him. Though many politicians struggle in his shade and the pathetic sort of toenail clippings of Churchill all, all around the, the political landscape. I, I, I think what he, what he had was this unbelievable sense of personal destiny and self-belief that powered him through. He thought, he like rather like Socrates, who believed in his own daimon or whatever, Churchill believed in his own destiny that was somehow hovering on his shoulder, protecting him from the bullets of the, of the, of the dervishes and uh, from the, you know, the shells of the Germans. And he, he, right up into the end of the Second World War, he's going out into the sea, he's having picnics on the bank of the Rhine when they're, when they're being shelled. I mean, he had a most extraordinary sense that he was going to be preserved for higher things and it was his destiny to lead the nation.